Hi, I'm Nicole Ellis. I'm a certified professional dog trainer, and today we're gonna to talk about what to do when you get a new puppy. Getting a new puppy can be thrilling, exciting, but also a bit daunting. There's so much going on from potty training, puppy playtime, socialization, and making sure he's not eating your computer charger. Here's my quick go-to list for the first things to do when you bring home your new family member. Step one, I'm a big fan of crate training. When trained properly, dogs love their crates. Not only will a crate help you with potty training, but it'll give your pup somewhere safe to nap and call their own. Dogs will instinctually find a small hiding place for themselves, such as under the bed. This goes back to wolves in their dens and a crate provides that same feeling. Step two, look into pet insurance. I'm personally a big fan of it. You'll wanna do your research on the pet insurance companies. Some are better for certain breeds than others. And sadly, our pets can get hurt and sick at young ages, and it's best to be prepared. You don't wanna to have to make decisions based on costs, but instead, based on their quality of life and comfort. Owning a pet is a big, rewarding responsibility, and having insurance takes some of that pressure off. Step three, make sure your home is puppy-proofed. Puppies love to chew on things. They need to satisfy that urge while teething, which is you know, why you'll want to give them something they should be chewing on, such as a chew toy. Pick everything off your floor that you don't want chewed. This includes your favorite shoes and socks, but also things that could be dangerous for them, such as laptop chargers and loose power cords. If you can't watch your pup, it's a great time for that crate or a playpen where they can stay out of trouble. While puppies are young, do as much as you can to socialize your new dog to their surroundings, new people, and objects with, of course, lots of praise and treats. Step four, it's never too early to start training. Seriously, no, your four-month-old dog won't be doing handstands, but it's a great time to work on the basics. Games in the whole house are fun for the whole family and allow you to keep working on some important behaviors like stay, leave it, and sit. When doing training, don't allow things that you wouldn't want a full-grown dog doing. While it may be cute when a 10-pound dog jumps up on you to lick your face, it won't be as cute when he's 75 pounds and trying to do it to your grandparents or grandkids. Lastly, take lots of photos. They grow up so fast. 